Hello everyone, in today's video I'll show you how to use the weekday formula in Excel. You need to use this formula when you want to know which day of the week a date is. And after explaining that to you, I'll show you a business perform example. How to use this formula to analyze which day of the week was the busiest in your business or had the highest number of sales or any other metric. But now let's get started with the explanation. Notice that Excel asks two arguments. One of them is mandatory and the second one is optional. I'll explain that in a few seconds. Let's get started. Equal sign, weekday, open parenthesis, and the zero number is the mandatory argument. That's the date that we are analyzing. In our case, it's the cell A2. So select the cell A2, type comma, and return type is the way Excel will show you the result. For this formula, Excel, returns numbers as a result. By default, if you leave it blank or if you use the number 1, Excel will use the number 1 for Sunday through number 7 for Saturday. If you type in number 2, that's the second option, but Excel will use the number 1 for Monday instead of Saturday, Sunday and number 7 for Sunday instead of Saturday. I will leave it blank, but you can type or choose the option that you want. If you're wondering, uh, how or what all the options are about, I add the table here in my Excel and you can pause the video to have a look. But I will also add the source of this information in the description of my video. Okay, now I will just copy and paste this formula and here we have our results. I made the list in, to be like in order, uh, so Sunday to Saturday, to Saturday, just to be easier to understand. And let's say that you want to add the actual weekday name written, not numbers. To solve this problem, I use the formula ifs and if. I have another video in my channel explaining how to use these formulas. So I won't go um, in very much detail here, but basically we tell Excel what to do in case we have number one, number two, number three, and so on. So that's what I did here. I will just copy and paste the formula, and here we have our list. Okay, now I will move to the second part of this video, which is the business performer example. Let's say you work for a doctor's office and you want to analyze which day of the week was the busiest, or you have any other information that you want to analyze by weekday. Uh, but in our example of the doctor's office, you have just the appointments date and nothing else. So in this case, you need to break the information down by weekday. So let's get started. I'll start at weekday, open parenthesis, select the date, I'll close the parenthesis, I'll hit enter, then the formula will apply to the rest of my table. And here we have our information. To break the information out to count the total appointments per weekday, I use the formula count if. I also have another video in my channel explaining you how to use this formula, and that's uh, what I did here. So this was our today's video, I hope you liked it, I hope it was helpful. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, send this video to a friend, and if you have any questions, any comments, or something that you want me to cover my channel, put down in the comment section so I can work on that. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.